sure. Oh, here we go. There's a big one. See it? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. See, that's why I didn't go any closer, Don. No, thank you, buddy. I am good. Back. I'm going to back up a little bit for that one. Because that one is big right there. I think that's the biggest one we've seen so far. Ooh, another huge one. Well, the water's coming right up to me. Well, the system is, you know, moving along toward the west-northwest, and you have to add not only the strength of the, the winds from the storm itself, but also the movement. And so when you're looking at the east side of the system, you're adding the winds of the system plus the motion. Now, you're, you're starting to get some of that storm, its outer bands, into uh, radar range, and you're getting some uh, idea of rainfall rates. Uh, tell us what you're seeing. Right now, it's not too bad, you know, in terms of the rainfall rates from these outer bands, about one or two inches per hour. But as you know, as these bands move on shore and hit the mountainous terrain, these uh, rain cells, these showers can blow up quite a bit and quickly turn into three to four inch per hour rates or more. Now, one to two inches, that's an hour. That's, a pre that's pretty heavy rain, but you're talking in the context of a hurricane type of shower activity. I mean, this could really come down hard. Yes, and you know, as, especially as if the core gets close or any one of these bands line up just right and, and train right into the terrain, uh, you're talking about prolonged periods of very intense rain. So that's why we're, our forecast calls for 10 to 15 inches widespread with isolated amounts more than 20 inches. I mean, that's really serious amounts of rainfall for uh, even for here. Kevin Kodama, thank you so much for your expertise with it.